In 2001, second division Wickham Wanderers wrote a fresh chapter in the romantic history of the FA Cup with victory at Premier League Leicester. And plucked from obscurity, unknown trialist Roy Essendo entered cup folklore. For what it meant to the club to be part of it was, yeah, it's really special. In moments like that, encapsulate a career, encapsulate your life. Ahead of the tie, an injury crisis had ruled out Wickham's entire forward line. For Laurie Sanchez, the search for a striker was on. We need a centre forward, we need a centre forward to play. In a one-off game, we were, we were brainstorming and I said, well, why don't we contact... I know Ian Wright had just finished at Burnley. Ian Wright came back and said he'd love to play, but um, he thought it'd be unfair on one of my players missing out on the opportunity of playing a quarter-final of the FA Cup, so I said, fair enough. And the other one we, we threw out there was Viali. Viali thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, then said no. Eventually, Wickham took the unconventional approach of advertising on a television text service. I put out a teletext. An agent phoned me the following day, said, we've got someone who's a centre forward, um, he's not cup tied, he's available, um, and it was Roy Essendon. I was playing in Finland. See, the season had just finished there, so I was probably about 70, 80 percent more or less fit, but not 100 percent. The only attribute that was important was he was available. Signed on a week to week contract, Essendo started on the bench as Wickham took on high flying Leicester. At that time, Leicester were a good team with some great players and playing a team a couple of divisions below. We had some decent players in our team. I thought that if we set ourselves out the right way, that we had enough about us that we could cause them problems. Yeah, you expect to lose, but there's always that little, little faint hope that. You can also win. After a tight first half, Wickham stunned their Premier League opponents when Paul McCarthy gave the chairboys the lead. Sometimes you're on a journey like that. It's one of those things you feel, yeah, this is this is gonna go, this is gonna end in glory of some sort. But Leicester breathed a collective sigh of relief when Muzzy Is it equalised. Hugh Roy S and O. Normally manager will tell you something, so. I'm sure he said something, but you're kind of, you're thinking, God, I want to go score a goal. <laughs> With the game finally balanced, Wickham were denied a penalty. At that time, I thought, perhaps that might go against us then, because I think it's won all of the time, but there was a bang to right's handball where the bloke put his hand up and it's hit him on the, hit him on the arm. The linesman hasn't given it, looking straight down it, and I was incensed. Sanchez was sent off and forced to watch on a TV monitor as Essendo headed into the area. Basically, all I remember is a free kick being played into the box and then it coming back across the box. And then most forwards will tell you if your movement's quick enough and you jump early enough, which luckily I did, and as soon as you make contact, sometimes you just know that it's, it's going in and that was just one of those, one of those times when as soon as you make contact, you know that's the end setting you know. up. <laughs> Ironically, that goal in the court final was the only goal we scored in freshman football that season, which answers a lot of questions why it was available as a centre-forward at that time of the year, but what a great goal. Defender Steve Brown's red card for over-celebrating set up a frantic finale, but Wickham clung on to reach the semi-finals. An incredible story, even by the standards of the FA Cup. We, we actually stopped at a hotel on the way back, um, and we had a few drinks, and we shed a few tears. I mean, you, the, you know, the, the, to achieve what we'd achieve the semi-final of the FA Cup. And, when you're there, you don't realise what it is. If it was to happen now, the furore that we'd be about reaching the semi-final FA Cup with a Division 1 as it would be in our team, it's a moment that everybody there will remember. Um, you know, the fans will remember it. Um, obviously, we now remember it. And, you know, it, it's one of those moments that's gone into Cup Focal. Great to have done it, and even if you've gone and made millions from the game, you can still look back at that and think, well, that's, you can't, that's priceless, really, isn't it? So, I don't know if obviously I've made millions, so I'd, I'll just I'll take that. Yeah.